Hey guys, my name is Eden, this is Cobra, welcome to the series where I teach you how to build a Discord.pipe up for your server. Uh, today we're going to be downloading and installing all the required components that we're going to need to build the bot, so let's get into it. So we're going to need a few things uh, in order to build the bot. The first thing we're obviously going to need is Python. Uh, I'm just going to be using uh, Python 3.8.0, however I recommend that you download the latest version, which at the moment is Python 3.8.2. Um, there aren't too many differences between the versions, which is why I'm not bothering to update. However, I would always recommend updating to the latest version if possible. So 3.9 is in development right now. By the time you see this video, it might actually be out. So I would recommend uh, getting 3.9 if it is. Otherwise, just get 3.8. I would recommend getting 3.8 at the very least. I um, mean, if you have uh, 3.7, while it's not absolutely necessary, I would definitely recommend updating because we're going to be doing some... Uh, 3.8 exclusive stuff with the syntax. Uh, on top of Python we're also going to need some sort of uh, application to browse through our database. Uh, now because we're going to be using SQLite, we're just, I'm just going to be using a DB browser for SQLite, however the, uh, the software that you download will depend ultimately on what database model you want to use. Um, or if you don't want uh, to download this, then you can download your own uh, DB browser, or if you've got one already that will load the database that you're going to be using, then just use that. All I'm saying is you just need one, it doesn't really matter which one. Uh, we're also going to be needing GitHub Desktop, unless you already know how Git works in the command line and would prefer to use it. Uh, for the purposes of explanation of, of, of creating a repository, I'm, I'm going to be using the desktop application. Um, just because it's easier to explain. It's a Discord.py tutorial, not a Git tutorial. However, if you want to learn how uh, the Git command line works, then obviously you can use that for this. Or if you already know how it works. And the final thing we're going to need is the Windows Terminal Preview. Now, we don't necessarily need that as such, because everything we're, uh, we're going to do in the Windows Terminal Preview actually works in the CMD. However, the Windows Terminal Preview does it better. Um, so I would recommend getting this for all our Linux stuff if you did want to host it on a Linux server and connect to it. So the next thing we're going to need to do is install all our stuff from pip. So if we go into the CMD, load that up, wait for OBS to turn back on, there we are. <laughs> um, you'll see that we have it in administrative permissions as well. This is highly recommended. Uh, pip doesn't really like it if you don't run it in admin. Um, uh, so the first thing to do is just to work out how you run pip. I can just do that and it works. Um, if that doesn't come up for you, it says pip is an unrecognized program, use py-m pip instead. Uh, if you're on Linux, you would use python uh, 3.8, as I'm using 3.8-m pip. This will say it's unrecognized, but um, that's how you would do it on Linux and Unix-based systems as well. Um, so we need to install a few things using pip, so I'm just going to use pip, as I said before. Uh, the first thing we're going to need to install is obviously discord.py. Um, this is the main framework that, uh, that we're going to use to build the bot. I think that's fairly self-explanatory. Uh, the next thing I'm going to install personally is AP Scheduler. Uh, while discord.py does have its own scheduling systems, I prefer to use AP Scheduler as it gives me a little bit more control. Uh, if you're not concerned about scheduling tasks, then you don't have to do, you don't have to install this. However, I am going to create an autosave system for the database using AP Scheduler, so that's something to keep in mind as well. Uh, although we're going to be using SQLite as our database model, you can uh, get a more asynchronous version with AIO SQLite. We're not going to be using it, but it's it's something to consider if you did want to do that. So if we just hit enter, I have everything installed already. I'm just going to make sure I have the latest version of everything uh, using the dash u thing. Uh, so I should be on discord.py, what is it, 1.3.3 still, I think. Uh, yeah, 1.3.3, AP Scheduler 3.6.3, AISQ Lite 0.11, although again, we're not going to be using it. Uh, there is one more thing that we're going to need to install as well, and I just realized I forgot to actually mention this. You might have to just install git. Oh, I've done something really bad there. You might just have to install git um, on your system. I don't remember. I think Linux it comes pre-installed. I actually have no idea, but you might need to, you might need to, oh yeah, git for Windows, so you probably will need to download it. Um, you don't need to do anything with it to my knowledge, you just need it on the computer. Um, because for our help command, we are going to be using Discord's, uh, the Discord.py menu system. 
which as of version 1.3.3 is not bundled in with the rest of the API. I don't know why that's a thing, maybe it's still an alpha. Um, I presume in, in Discord to apply 1.4 it'll probably be merged, but we're using 1.3.3 at the moment. So we have to do this crazy pip in store. I'm going to do dash u just to make sure I've got the latest version of it because I really don't know. Um, I might not even have it on this computer at the moment. HTTPS colon colon github.com uh, slash wraps, which is the guy who built the, well, it's, it's one of the guys that built the uh, API. And this, oops. Discord slash ext slash menus. And oh no, I didn't have it on my computer already. Well, it's probably a good idea. It's, it's probably a good thing I installed it. So yeah, we've got version 1.0.0 alpha 21. And then I believe that number is the commit number. Um, <clears throat> I might be wrong on that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, now that we've got everything installed, the next thing to do is to create a Discord bot, which we're going to be doing next time. Um, in episode number two. So if you like the video then uh, say hello down below. If you have any questions you can leave them down there as well or you can ask in the Discord server in the description below. If you really like the video then consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss the rest of the series and if you really really like the video then consider supporting me on Patreon because it would be really cool if you did. You don't have to but it would be really cool. Um, so yeah I'll see you next time where we create the bot on Discord developers.